everyone, I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while since I filmed one of these videos. Today I am going to do my summer wrap up, so July and August and well there's a little pile there so that's not too bad. The first books I finished in July was the Graceling Trilogy. I have a full video and I'll put it up here about why I really enjoyed these and you know it's it's quite it's a bit of a hefty trilogy but I really enjoyed it. And I'm really looking forward to Kristen Cushel's new book, which is coming out later this year, I think. Well, the proofs are out, so either this year or early next year. I think Graceling and Bitter Blue I gave four stars, and I think I gave Fire five, because Fire was my favourite out of the three. The next book I finished in July was All the Good Things by Claire Fisher. Now, I got a proof from the lovely people at Penguin Viking, so thank you so much for that. This is about a girl who's about, I think she's... 19, early 20s, and she's been in prison because of something really bad she's done. And my friend Lily did a super good review video of this, so I'll link it somewhere up here. And I really enjoyed this, but it was quite a difficult read. So if you're in not the best moods, and because I was going through quite a difficult period with lots of changes at work again, um, so I kind of waited until July to finish it. But it is so beautifully written. It's not, it's not that long at all, and it's... Yeah, it was quite a hard-hitting, very frank and honest look at how when you get into the system as a teenager, it, it's very easy to not have enough support and for things to go wrong. But it does have so much hope as well. It's this beautiful redemption arc for the main character and she was very sassy and I really loved her. So yeah, definitely check out All the Good Things by Claire Fisher. Next up in July, I finished the Air Awaken series by Eliza Kova. Now you may know from my channel that I've read the first three and absolutely loved them. However, I did have books four and five on my Kindle, but I was a little bit terrified to finish the series because I was scared of what was gonna happen to Baby Vala and Baby Aldrich, and so I kind of put it off. But I finally did read them and I loved them so much. If you like a really good fantasy romance, you just need to read the series, okay? You just you just do. If you like romantic swoony things and you like fantasy and great magic systems, you need to read the series. Like, for real. Links will be down below. Go buy it. And the final book I read in July was Michael Spear by Hilton Pashley. Um, this is going to be published by Dome Press in November, so I read it for work. I really like this. It is like a magical fantasy romp adventure for like middle grade. It's a third in a trilogy but you can read it as a standalone because I haven't read the first two but I read this one and absolutely liked it. So yeah I really enjoyed it and if you're interested do check it out. Links will be down below. Now we've made it to August! Yay! And the first thing I read in August was this. The King of Rats by Melinda Salisbury. This is a short story in the Sinita's Daughter trilogy series. Trilogy? Series? I don't know. But this is a short story. I really like this. I, I just literally read it in about like an hour, two hours, but I think it's great. I still haven't read the third book in the trilogy, but apparently I have to read this before, so at least now I'm up to date. Maybe. The next thing I finished in August was Saga Volume 1. I already read this last year, but the lovely Sally was uh, having a bit of a clean out and she was gonna throw this away and so I was like can I have it? So she kept hold of this until she saw me at Yalk so yeah I had to reread this. It is really good. I want to reread volumes 2 and 3 as well. That's as far as I got with this series so I need to continue. Next up in August I read Poor and Fortunate Soul. This is written by Serena Valentino. This is actually the third book in a trilogy so if you want to try this I would recommend reading the first two first and then reading this. I did enjoy it but I think I would enjoy it more if I'd read the first two first, so I have more of the framework. So this is basically uh, different Disney stories that are kind of linked through the villains, um, and they have another set of like original characters that kind of link everything together. So I think that would be better. It's a fast read, like it, it's not gonna take you long. This is one of those things that I feel would be great to just have a quick read. I do like that it's got this in the back as well. And it has so much about Ursula's origin story. We already know a little bit more because they did the musical, but this kind of expands on it even more, which I really liked. So yeah, this was okay and I liked it. I'll probably read the first two, but maybe get them from the library rather than buying them. And finally, the last things I finished in August were Sabril 
and Lyriel by Garth Nix. I'm currently reading up Holson, so as soon as I have finished that, I will do a video about the series, but I absolutely love this. Five out of five stars. Why have I waited this long to read it? I just, yeah, absolutely adore this. Cannot wait to read more. So there you have it, guys. That's it for today. Do let me know down below in the comments if you read any of the books I read this summer. And let me know which one was your favourite. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.